If you want your hair to look more like this, but whenever you style it, it looks like this. Let me show you how to fix it. All right, my hair is fresh out of the shower, which means I shampooed and conditioned. I'm gonna use this side to show you what you might be doing at home, and then this side to show you what the salon does differently. Here's what you're probably doing at home when you get out of the shower. You go straight to blow drying. For the salon side, what they're probably doing is first going in your hair with some protective cream. This is Olaplex number six. This is like almost gone. So I'm just going to be very stingy and use just a little bit of this. Some heat protectant. Some of you are probably putting heat protectant too, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray that in here. Got this from a Korean brand, by the way. I'll list all the products in the description below, but I'm gonna breeze through this because we got a lot to cover. Brush your hair. Now we're going to blow dry again. Now the salon side. They're going to blow dry at 95% with the same blow dryer. But then they do something else. They take this attachment, attach it onto their blow dryer, and then they start sectioning your hair off and doing it one by one. Let me show you what I mean. They go in with their brush like this and then they just smooth it down like that. You see how much smoother this looks than this? Nothing wrong with this side, but if you wanna get that smooth salon look, you gotta do this step. Now I repeat this with every section of my hair. It does take a while, but it is a great arm workout. So you're getting two in one. Once I get to my curtain bangs, I brush it outwards like this and just blow dry it outwards. So you can kind of see the salon side, they will smoothen all of your hair out. And if you're like me back then, you probably just blow dried and then left your hair to be like this. And now we are ready to style. Typically at this time, you bring out your hair straightener or your curling iron. I'm gonna go with this one because it's usually just easier. It kind of looks like this. That's what my hair used to look like. Now I'm going to show you what the salon does differently that really tames it all in. This is just what I do to make it look like the salon. I come in with a straightener first. I'm actually going to spray a little bit more of the heat protectant just because I use a little bit more heat on this side. What I usually do now is to go through sections of my hair and see what is really poofy. You can see that this isn't poofy. Go to the next one. This one adds a little bit too much volume more than I want. So I section it off. Just straighten the roots a little bit. I straighten from roots to mid length and basically do that for the rest of my hair. I'm going back in with the same curling wand and going to curl this side. As always, section off your hair so you don't miss anything and then curl away from your face because people want to see a beautiful face. This will give you a loose curl. Fast forwarding everything now because you basically do the same thing for all of your hair, even the curtain bangs, okay? When you curl away from your face, it will give you that nice swoop. Voila! Now let's compare the sides. This is how I used to do it at home versus how the salon would style my hair. I do want to mention though, there is absolutely nothing wrong with this side, but if you're doing all of that, I highly recommend just getting a good wavy hair routine because then you can get the natural waves and not put any heat. If you wanna see how I do my wavy hair routine, check this video out. 